Hello there guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to solo the mountain base. Leave a like, subscribe, and turn notifications to get notified when I upload. Other than that, let's get to it. So, first of course you want to grab your supplies, most importantly this little uh, baseball grenade on the end, called the M67 Fragmentation Grenade. Now you want to go to the helipad at FOB, if you didn't spawn an FOB, um, okay, just re redeploy at FOB. Or you can just take the longer path if you want to. FOB used to look a lot different from this a very long time ago, about a year and a half. Now you want to request your helicopter of choice, I should just say Little Bird. However, other helicopters can do this as well. Now you want to enable your engines. Uh, now that the engine has started, you're going to pull up and turn a bit to the right, like this. And for my one graphics people, what you're going to do is, you are going to use that heading on the compass that you see, a bit actually, to the, a bit more to the left actually, and that will put you up next to a rock face. I'll show you real quick. You can't actually see it, it's just an outline. But you'll see a bare rock face. I'll point it out whenever we get to it. You'll see a bare rock face, and you just want to follow that around the mountain until you hit a wall that runs perpendicular to you, I think is the word. At that wall, you want to go over it, find the lower helipad, and then land behind the weather ball. So we're going to go back to one graphics so that you guys can see it. You see this bare face right here? You are going to go to the left of it, or to the right of it, sorry. Then you're going to follow it up the hill. You see this, another bare rock face, go around it. That tells you that you are nearly nearing the summit. And then just keep hugging the rock face. And then we get to this one. At this point, we want to go over to the right. Now you could just go straight to the right, which is actually why I would suggest. But either route does work. I suggest that you do go for the lower one though. And then you're going to land out behind this section here. Now after you've landed, I'm just going to leave it on 10 for the rest of the video. You are going to first check out this whole area all the way down here. You're going to check out the top guy first. So whoever's the furthest up there, take him out. Take out the second lowest dude. And then take out the other guys and if you get spotted immediately just start killing everybody that comes out there's a lot of people down here what I did a lot of testing this is the most amount of people I've had go down here that is weird uh, and then you want to see that now usually if you didn't uh, set off the alarm at the base immediately you would kill everybody, everybody except for one person quietly. And then you would have that one person see you. And then after they shoot you, you can go ahead and get to either this left side or right side of the tent. And then just start killing all the enemies that come down this hill. This is going to be the part where you kill most of the enemies. It's also a great way to get intel. After you don't see any more enemies come down the hill, mm, well, that's an enemy right there, so if we want to go... Is that an enemy? It is. Might be a couple stragglers, but that don't super matter. If you want to take them out now, go ahead. I suggest that you do. Alright, now you're going to check the sniper towers. As you can see, there is a sniper up there. We are going to take him out. They can. There can be one on each floor... But there can only be a total of, I believe, three snipers on the towers. Now, after you have killed the snipers, go ahead and start pushing up. I'm going to show you what you would do if they did get super close. That time they didn't get super close to me, but they can get a lot closer. So if they get to about here, I would say, about halfway between you and this barrier, you want to immediately start running back 
over to the left side of this helipad pad from this area. And then play around here so that you can get an angle on there, which is where they're all going to come from. They're all going to either come right in front of you right here, or they're going to come in front of you right there and maybe get around to the right side if you uh, don't kill them quick enough. But none of them will go behind you. No, none of their routes run around that side of the heli pad. Now we shall run up. And I'm going to gather intel on the way because there is a lot of it on here. There should be more than I can hold. There's a lot right here. We got three right there. There's five total. There's six, a sixth one that you can't get pick up. Because I already got five. There might have been more, but I can't pick up any more. Alright, at this point, you want to check over here on the right. See if there's anybody over here. And if there's not, go ahead and take out anybody on this area here. Check if anybody's coming from the right side of this helipad. If there isn't, go ahead and peek around the left side. And then look at this weather ball here. <coughs> and check if there's anybody up there. If there is a sniper up there, take him out immediately. If there's anybody else up there, you don't need to worry about that now. And now you want to look at the flagpole, check if there's anybody on the flagpole. Take him out. And now you want to start looking around in the tents. You want to look on top of the building, because looky there, we got our guy, a guy, a guy there. That is two spots that you can find them. Whenever it gets to three enemies at this base, I believe that is the amount, they start running to the flag. And looky there, we got another sniper. Yep, three enemies, they start running to the flag. So, there's a couple other spots they can get stuck in, or they just hide in. They can hide in this building over here. They can get stuck on this thing over here. Uh, what else can they get stuck on? I think that's about it for where they can get stuck on. Uh, so now, you, if you want to hold for longer, just go ahead and resupply there. <coughs> and... Go ahead and stand up here. There's two ways to boost up. You can either use the AC units or you can run into this wall. Hold W and then hold A. Looking at the while well, looking at this side of the wall and then jump and then turn to your left. Then boom, you're up. Now enemies can come from either that side or that side. Stand about in the middle of this tent so that you get so that people start shooting you when you realize it. Now I'm gonna end this video here. But continue watching on my original video. I will leave a link to the time where this starts. And on these enemy waves, a sniper can spawn up there now. I don't know why. And he his view is mostly blocked by that white uh, radar thing. But just know he's there now. But the waves, I believe, are the exact same as they were whenever I did the first video of it. So... Hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, and yeah, that's basically it. Leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications to get notified when I upload. Bye!